yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian, and today we we are going to look at uh, how to use coupons and discount offers on your directory without needing uh, any expensive plugins or uh, you know any fancy pants WooCommerce extensions or otherwise. All right, so this we are looking at is W. P coupons. It's wpcoupons.io. I've covered this a bunch of different times um, in some other videos for some other projects. This has some very unique relevance and functionality for a directory. So let us look. It's also really inexpensive. I think it's like 39 bucks, $34. All right, so let's look at what the coupon archive page looks like. So this would be all the coupons uh, in one place, right? So if you have a directory or any type of authority site, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to assume you have a directory. So this would be um, all of the coupons of, let's say, all of your members in one archive view. All right, so this is the single uh, views. This is Kinsta discount, it's a WordPress hosting. Their logo is here, which is just a featured image. This is the percent off, no code needed. And clicking on this will bring you to kinsta.com or whatever Kinsta is. Let's look at the single post demo. Uh, we actually just did that. <laughs> Let's look at the single post two, which is... Um, a post with the widget with a short code uh, added to the um, the post body. So again, 30% off. This is all inputted uh, behind the scenes. Workup is the code. You can copy the code. You can click to get this deal. So by itself on a normal WordPress site, this has a lot of utility. Clearly, you know, if you're running a blog about anything, it doesn't have to be a directory or an authority site, you can incorporate coupons for affiliate offers, for your own offers, for anything you so choose. I'm going to tell you why this approach is uniquely suited for directories. Let's say this was Ian Ian's listing dot uh, you know, Ian's listing, right? So I'm a coach or a teacher or whatever. I'm Ian, for those of you who are wondering who Ian is. And this is my listing, and this is any random directory. Doesn't make a difference which theme you're using, which plugin you're, or, you know, which set of plugins you're using, which framework you're using. Any directory, this will work. So this is the directory, um, you know, body, right? So you have whatever it would be here, you know, address, map, you know, hours open, description, whatever is a, in an ordinary directory listing, um, you know, content body for the listing itself. Most listings have a sidebar, right? I mean, every framework I use has a sidebar. What you would do is you would create listing by listing specific coupons that only stick to the sidebar of each respective listing that is getting this offer or getting this deal or is uh, allowed to run coupons on their listing. So you can charge a premium price for that. So Ian's listing in this hypothetical example would have my coupon this one here, embedded in the sidebar. And Joe's listing would have Joe's coupon embedded in the sidebar. So you can force these coupons on a post-by-post -post or listing-by-listing -listing basis, meaning you can offer something like um, a deal or coupon or product or urgency offer on each listing for a, with a $35 uh, uh, plugin, WP coupons, which will work on any directory theme on the market today. No, doesn't need to have WP Job Manager, doesn't need to have WooCommerce installed. This will work with WooCommerce. I've done that 
number of times and it works beautifully well. And I'm going to give you another little pro tip, a phrase that I cannot stand to hear. So one way to get people to pay for the ability to run coupons on your site, because remember, you can make this a premium offer if you like. You can say listings are free, but if you want to run a, a coupon or a discount or an urgency offer, um, you have to pay you know thirty dollars a month or ninety nine dollars a year or three hundred ninety nine dollars a year whatever your traffic can justify whatever you know your site uh, is doing to justify whatever fees you charge so let's say ian myself says no i'm not so interested in coupons i don't do them i don't have any special offers i'm going to pass no problem well, guess what? There's still a sidebar with a coupon widget here. Someone else's coupon is going to show up in Ian, my listing sidebar. So when I see that, I'm going to say to you, the site owner, well, why is Joe's coupon? I don't want Joe's coupon on my listing. I, I, we sell the same thing. You're driving people to Joe's website with his, with his coupon on my listing. Well, the, the right answer to that is you say to me, in this case, Ian, um, you know, if you don't, this is a premium offer. And if you don't pay for that, then um, you get a standard sidebar and the standard sidebar has any random, um, you know, coupon that shows up that displays. Now, the trick here is you can you can force joe's coupon on my listing so you can say on ian's listing and on jane's listing and on josephine's listing joe's coupon is going to be displayed here and this that's just and if we're all in the same business the three of us and on each one of our listings joe is being featured you know with a 30 percent off coupon it's just going to facilitate the process by which at least one of us is going to say, you know what, screw it. You know, I want a coupon too, you know, because I don't want anyone else's coupon showing up on my listing. So some people have told me in the past, they think that's sort of sneaky or sort of coercive or high pressure. It's not really. Every listing has a sidebar. And if you attach a coupon to the sidebar, which you are doing, then something is going to show up there. And if you're giving Ian a listing for free, he has very little room to complain about the fact that if he's choosing not to upgrade his listing, but other people have that are his competitors, there's a universal sidebar that he is subject to uh, whatever is going to either arbitrarily or intentionally show up in that space. So again, this is just a, fa a fantastic um uh, way of monetizing your site with, again, a an archived shop of coupons or on a listing by listing directory basis, um, selling premium offers to your members and letting them then sell premium members to your public audience, which is obviously at bottom the key to all of this succeeding. All right. Remember, this will also work in conjunction with a WooCommerce store. So you can have two, you can have ordinary products and coupon products. And those are separate, um, you know, uh, enterprises altogether. So they're not conflicting with one another. It works wonderfully well. And I highly recommend you try it. All right. Again, this is Ian, WP Coupons, and this is Authority Advantage, the uh, course. Thanks so much. Have a good day.